the raging debate in India around Aadhaar, Vyond decided to take a look at how other countries use uh, social security cards and whether the privacy concerns are the same worldwide. In America, social security has been around for decades, but the social security card itself has long fallen out of favor. Vyond's Andy Roshan finds out why. And this year, about 62 million Americans will get monthly benefits. But social security cards themselves, made of paper, don't do anything. They don't double up as credit cards or serve any other function. And there has never been any serious talk of changing that. In fact, many Americans don't even bother keeping them around anymore. But what is on their minds these days is their social security number assigned to each person. Unless you can get that number changed under very rare circumstances. That nine-digit number that does not change ever. And that can be trouble. Identity thieves consider your nine-digit social security number the holy grail for hacking into and stealing your personal information. Are you worried about your number at risk? Absolutely. Absolutely. The social security card number was never meant to verify who a person is, just to track a person's work history. But over the years, private businesses have used social security numbers to verify Americans every time they want to do just about anything involving large amounts of money, apply for a credit card or a bank loan or rent an apartment or office space. What do you do to protect yourself? You can't. You can't. Uh, 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 driver education has to know your number. Uh, banks have to know your numbers. Companies that you work for have to know your numbers. And they're all getting hacked. Until recently, social security numbers were even printed on some driver licenses and student IDs at colleges. But the massive breach this year of the credit agency Equifax, in which 143 million consumers may have had their social security numbers exposed, is now creating calls for change. The hunt is on for tech software that a person could use to prove their identity to someone without giving away information that can be used to impersonate them. For example, in 2015, major credit card companies forced U.S. retailers to move to chip cards, a technology that produces a unique code for each transaction without sharing the actual card number. And lawmakers at the federal level and in individual states are proposing new regulations to clamp down on businesses' use of social security numbers to try to protect those numbers from public exposure.